So hello, my name is George Burgess, and today I am here to present Memory SSA in five minutes. So to start off, what is Memory SSA? Well, surprisingly enough, it's what happens when you try and take memory operations such as loads and stores and fences and put them into an SSA form. This buys you many neat properties, one of which is that stores and loads like actually have useful use lists. Okay is that stores and such actually have useful use lists. So you can say, hey, memory SSA, like, give me your representation for the store. And the users of that are things that the store actually clobbers. And you can get all of this in constant time. And the converse is you can get, a mem what, you can get how memory SSA views a load. And whatever its operand is, is whatever alias analysis says clobbers it. So how does it work? Essentially. You pass memory SSA a function, it thinks about it, it builds up a bit of internal state, it builds up its internal representation, which is composed of uses, defs, and fees, and then you can ask it about it. You can say, hey, memory SSA, I've got the store instruction inside of that function. Tell me everything you know about it, and it will hand you back a memory def because this is a store, and you can use that, like I said, to get everything that store clobbers, and you can even like start walking through your function, like, you can get the store that is right above it and the store that's above that on and on to the top of your function. So memory uses are basically loads. Memory defs is every memory operation that's not a load. And fees are conceptually identical to LLVM fees. They're just a different type for use inside of memory SSA. So you might see this and say, well, George, this kind of sounds like memory dependence analysis. It kind of sounds like it's trying to accomplish the same goal. And the answer is yes. Um, so memory dependence analysis, we're trying to replace it to some extent with memory SSA because memory SSA solves a few problems that memory dependence analysis has. Ideally, we get to a point where memory LS memdef is barely used if used at all, if it's used at all. Um, but we will see. So what makes memory SSA better is primarily just a question of algorithmic complexity. When you look at how memory dependence analysis works, you essentially give it an instruction, it looks around that instruction, it kind of inspects your function, and it has a cache to make this a little bit better, and it has like limits for how far it'll go and how much it'll inspect. But you basically end up with linear time queries. And when you look at users of this, they kind of query linear time with the function as well. So like, it'll say, hey, this looks interesting, memdef, what do you think about it? Hey, this looks interesting, memdef, what do you think about it? So we end up with quadratic complexity in some cases inside of the compiler. And to be clear, this isn't like quicksort is quadratic, but very few people care with a well-written one. Um, memdef is a pretty big issue for some real files. We spend over 10 minutes compiling some single files. 95 plus percent of the time of that is spent in memdef. And memory SSA solves this with wonderful constant time guarantees. So we have users, all two of them. We love them dearly. We hope the feeling is mutual. <laughs> but so memory SSA is still early stages. Um, not everything has been entirely written. Not everything is entirely like fleshed out. We're more than happy to change the API if we get feedback and people saying, hey, it would be nice if memory SSA supported this. Or hey, this is really awkward. Can we please make it better? So. We're totally happy to do that. We just need feedback. For more information, we have actual documentation. The first commit, the documentation was, hey, please read this commit message. The commit message said, hey, please read the code. So it was wonderful, wonderful documentation. But now we have actual docs that hopefully explain things well and some of the design trade-offs that we went through. So yeah, if you have any questions, please contact me or Daniel Berlin after this talk. We are thrilled to talk with you if you're at all interested in memory SSA. And thank you for your time.